Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you, along with my aunt, how to make Jamaican sweet potato pudding. Uh, this is her recipe, and let's take a look at some of the stuff that you're going to need. You're going to need about two to three pounds of potatoes. You need the red skin one, not the orange one. Those are yams. You're going to make sure you peel it and wash it in some cold water. And you have a choice. You can either grate your potatoes finely or you can blend it in the blender. Now, I choose to blend mine because I want to keep my knuckles. So if I don't want to tear up for the finger, I can grate it. But honey, that's what a blender is for. Okay, now you're going to have something that looks like that. I stored mine overnight. You can store it for up to a week in the refrigerator until you're ready to use it. Okay, now this is called cocoa. I've never seen it before. I've heard of it growing up. I've never had it, but this is what my aunt told me to get. It's very starchy, has a consistency of a uh, yellow yam, and I think I have two different types there. You don't have to buy the two different ones, but this is optional. If you can find yellow yam or dasheen, you can use that. It is also called edu or edo or something like that up here in the States. And I have about a cup and a quarter that I've blended, all right? Next up, you're gonna need some brown sugar. You're gonna need about um, a pound and a half of brown sugar because I'm making a lot. You're gonna need some cornmeal or some flour, either or, I don't know which one she's gonna be using just yet. You're gonna need some raisins, some nutmeg, some cinnamon, and some salt as well okay all the ingredients will be below in the description box you're gonna need butter and coconut milk and some vanilla and almond extract we have the potato mm -hmm. and the milk coconut milk some of it right some of it we're going to use it all Oh. Is that enough? Yeah. We have that enough. That looks like you need some more. No. That's kind of thick. No. We are using it all up. We can use... And it. that's the cocoa, right? And this is the cocoa. <laughs> we call it cocoa. Or you can use yellow yam if you have it, right? Yellow yam or dasheen. Oh, you can use dasheen. Please give me some water, please. I'm going to use uh, sugar. Okay, this is some. one pound. Do you need the other pound? No, not yet. Okay. One, we are putting in one pound of sugar. It's about two pounds of potato. It's a lot of potato. Two teaspoons of salt. Depends on how much you are making. This is a big amount you are making. Right. Some vanilla. This is your vanilla right here. We're going to use more spoon of vanilla now. A lot. What if a tablespoon? Half a bottle. That's not half a bottle because it's half a bottle you gave me. I use quarter of the bottle. <laughs> quarter of the bottle. The nutmeg. Right here. One teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay. Here's your cinnamon. Is that? Cinnamon. Where's the only spice? What else? Where's the miss spice? You don't have miss spice? I'll tell you how my name. I'm gonna put about one tablespoon of almond. Okay. That's nutmeg, okay? Using some cinnamon. That's cinnamon. Yes, cinnamon. You're using a little cinnamon. One tablespoon of cinnamon. That's a lot of mixing. What else do you need? Nothing. We're gonna put some 
butter, pinches of butter. Okay. And then you're going to back, grease the container with the butter. All right, hold on, container. What comes in, in what? So far, what we have in the pan in front of you? We potato. have sweet potato, cocoa, sugar, coconut milk, cinnamon, cinnamon almond. nutmeg, mm -hmm. almond, Oh, and um, vanilla mm -hmm. and butter. It's delicious. Well, this is looking real delicious. So you don't have to put no flour or no cornmeal or nothing, right? Uh, I'm not certain I'm going to put the flour in there. I think it look good. I think, I think it might you know, be some rum in there. Hmm? Some rum. If you love rum, you can put a little rum in it. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's some rum in the raisins right there because I've been soaking it in rum. Oh, you soaking the rum in the, mm -hmm. in the raisins? Yeah. I'm gonna put some raisin in, but I'm gonna leave some for the top. Okay. Okay. So let's pour out the liquid then. No, I want some raisin in, and we're gonna sprinkle so many when it's boil. As it start to boil up, we're gonna put some in. Okay. This is delicious. And then you would spoil it. Oh, it's look good. Flour. I'm just gonna put a li few little spoons of flour. Two teaspoons. Make sure. Make sure. So that it can set. Grease pan. Yes. I want it to be Yes, I'm sure I'm missing it out. This look good. Sure, you have enough vanilla and everything? I have vanilla in already. I have almond. I have vanilla. Just add a little more, huh? I have yeah. everything. Don't need no baking powder or nothing like that? No baking powder. I don't want no baking powder in it. Okay. So that's ready. Yep. I think this is nice. Yeah, it tastes good. Why are we gonna pour? Are we gonna pour it now? Oh yes, I'm pouring it in. All right, guys. So you want to make sure that you grease your baking pan and pour your batter in. And you're gonna bake this for. Um, almost two hours one hour and 50 minutes give and take 350 degrees now after about 30 minutes you're going to remove it from the oven and you're going to add the rest of the raisins that you had before remember she didn't use all of it so she's going to use the remaining raisins why because she doesn't want it to sink to the bottom of the pan so she's adding them now all right and then you're going to put it back in the oven and just leave it Now let's go check and see what's going on with our pudding because it's been a while. And there it is. Mm. All right, guys, this is what's going on. They've been in here for about an hour and 15 minutes and they look absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna rotate the pans a little bit and call my aunt to see if it's ready or not, okay? All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope you guys enjoyed my aunt. This is her recipe and it was absolutely delicious. Now we bake this 350 degrees. It's not a dense pudding because we didn't pack it full of cornmeal, just a little bit of flour. Okay, guys, your sweet potato pudding is finished. I hope you guys enjoy this video and give it a try it's nice and soft you have to allow it to cool down see it there and this is the real authentic pudding okay i made sure i call 
my 81 year old Jamaican aunt to come and show you how to do this. So make sure you give me a thumbs up. You have to like this video. How could you not? Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And leave your comments below. Share my video on Facebook, on Instagram, with your friends and family. See that real authentic Jamaican sweet potato pudding straight out of this kitchen. Okay? Trust me, people. It is delicious. Okay? And I'm about to have a piece. Mm. Mm-hmm.